Hey, uh, Willem? What? I think you might want to eat a Snickers. And why should I eat a Snickers? Well, you know, you've always been a piece of shit, but when you're hungry, it's even worse. What did you just say about me? Say hello to my little friend. Hey, calm down, buddy, calm down. It's okay. Here. Give that shit. Is it better now? Nope. Still gonna kill you. Everything for the likes, my friend. Everything for the likes. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Everyone knows the Snickers commercial and everyone knows the feeling of being hangry. But do you know why people become hangry? That's what I'm going to explain in this video. Welcome to Brains Applied. According to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, being hangry means being irritable or angry because of hunger. But why does it happen? It has already been proven that becoming irritable is related to having low blood glucose levels, which might indicate that you're hungry. One study, for example, found that people with such low glucose levels stick more pins into a voodoo doll that represents their spouse. The same study let couples play a turn-based game in which the winner of each round was allowed to play different loud noises through the headphones of their losing spouse. Again, the results showed that the lower the blood glucose level of the winner, the louder and the longer the noise that they chose to blast through their spouse's headphone. For a long time, researchers assumed that having a low blood glucose level caused our self-control to decrease and thus hangriness. Yet an increasing amount of studies opposed this hypothesis, so scientists came up with a new explanation. Meet ghrelin, a hormone often called the hunger hormone. When you become hungry, your stomach and hypothalamus release ghrelin, and ghrelin triggers an entire cascade of hormones, stress hormones such as cortisol and epinephrine, which can put you in a bad mood. And it also triggers neuropeptide Y neurons in the brain. The name isn't that important, but you should know that neuropeptide Y is a protein that is both related to the regulation of food intake and aggression. And to top it all off, the brain regions that are activated during hunger are also activated when we are emotional. So we might get hangry because being hungry is just very similar to being angry, stressed and sad. In other words, our emotions aren't just about what we think but also about how our body feels. One study, which involved starving students, annoying them with awful computer tasks and worst of all, a simulated Windows crash, was able to show this. They found that people do indeed experience more negative emotions when they're hungry. And in this case, even anger towards the experimenter. However, when they were made more aware of their emotions, they were able to differentiate between the feeling of hunger and being pissed. And evolutionary, being hangry does make sense. Before we had supermarkets, and this still goes for animals, getting food in order to remain alive was rather important. And when you're living in a group or a herd, aggressive behavior and showing that you're the boss can make the difference between conquering scarce food or watching others eat the food. So being hangry might in fact be related to survival of the fittest. And that my friends is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, 
leave a like and of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.